Hello dear students, welcome again. As you are aware of the fact that Pune University has announced final year examination and the examination will be MCQ based or multiple choice questions will be there. Whether you opt for online examination or offline examination, uh, the questions will be MCQ based. So in this video, I have prepared some expected or probable questions for TY become economics student from chapter number one. So as you know, in chapter number one, there are two broad topics, basic characteristics of Indian economy as an emerging economy and second comparison of Indian economy with developed economies with respect to national income, per capita income, agriculture, industry and service sector output. And uh, dear learners, this is my YouTube link. You can, if you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe it. And let us start with the MCQ questions from chapter number one. So first question is, the term emerging market economy was coined by Irving Fisher, Antonio W. Van Actamale, Antonio W. Van D. Souza, J. R. Hicks. The correct answer is Antonio W. Van Actamale. The next question is the term E7 or Emerging 7 was coined by economists at Dash in 2006. Price Waterhouse Group, Price Waterhouse Coopers, Waterhouse Group, FBI. The correct answer is Price Waterhouse Coopers or PWC. The second. Next question is comparison of developed and emerging market is not done is not done on the following basis so one answer is incorrect or you can say uh, this comparison is not done on one of the following and three are uh, the points or uh, criteria on which basis comparison is made so what are these rate of growth level of development state of economy amount of foreign exchange reserves in fact comparison of developed and emerging market is done on rate of growth level of development state of economy and scope for economy i have already taken up in other video in the playlist you can find comparison is not done on the basis of amount of foreign exchange so this is the correct answer next question julian verquill recently proposed a definition of emerging economies as distinguished from emerging markets have following characteristics so what are the characteristics which were suggested by julian for the emerging economies number one intermediate income number two catching up growth number three institutional transformation and economic opening last one all of the above in fact the correct answer is all of the above mr julian has suggested intermediate income catching up growth institutional transformation and economic opening as characteristics of emerging economies so last one is the correct answer moving on to the next question following are not the basic characteristics of the indian economy as an emerging economy so the first option low but increasing per capita income second a steadily improving rate of capital formation third over utilization of human resources fourth improvement in the infrastructural development dear learners i think by now you have uh, recalled which one is the correct answer yes third one over utilization of human resources i have already taken taken up uh, 10 points under this heading basic characteristics of Indian economy as an emerging economy this first one is the characteristics steadily improving rate of capital formation second this is also one of the characteristics and this is also one of the characteristics but this is not the characteristics of Indian economy as an emerging economy so correct answer is third one next question India was ranked dash out of 167 countries in World Bank's Logistic Performance Index 2018. 44th rank, 34th rank, 54th rank, 24th rank. So 
correct answer is 44th rank. India was ranked 44th out of 167 countries in the World Bank's Logistic Performance Index 2018. Next question is still more than task percent of India's population is still earning their livelihood from agriculture. So the correct answer 60%, 50%, 65%, 75%. Can you guess? Yes, it is 50%. Still more than 50% of India's population is still dependent on agriculture. So second one is the correct answer. Next question, on purchasing power parity basis, which country's national income was highest in 2017? USA, China, France, India. Can you guess? Yes, it is China. It was China whose per capita income was, uh, sorry, national income was highest in 2017 on PPP basis. Whereas uh, USA was second highest and India was third highest. Next question, on nominal terms, which country's national income was highest in 2017? USA, China, France, India. So the correct answer on nominal terms, USA national income was highest in 2017, whereas uh, China was second. Next question, according to IMF, and CIA World Factbook, which country's industrial output was third highest? Third highest, USA, China, Japan, India. The correct answer, Japan. Japan's industrial output was third highest according to IMF and CIA World Factbook 2015, whereas China was the first and USA was second whereas India's position was sixth in industrial output as per this data. Next question according to IMF and CIA World Factbook 2015 which country's agricultural output was highest? USA, China, Japan, India? Can you guess? Yes it was China whose agriculture output was highest whereas India was second highest and United States was third highest whereas Japan was at 10th position. Next question according to IMF and CIA World Factbook 2015 which country's uh, service sector sorry it is service sector service sector output was third highest USA China Japan India so it was USA. USA's service sector output, service sector output, it is service. Service sector output was highest, whereas China was second and Japan was third, whereas India's position in service sector output was ninth. So this is, these are the uh, questions which I have expected questions I have framed from uh, chapter number one and I'll more some more questions from this chapter and the subsequent chapters. So please subscribe and press the bell icon for upcoming videos on MCQ series. Thanks for watching.